In this video, we're going to look at how to fix non-tangencies from a font. Um, these can sometimes cause crop circles. Here you can see this is actually the letter G using what's got the Windows Papyrus font. Uh, I've already created some toolpath, and I'll go ahead and launch the editor. And we'll see what the problem is. See, at the, at the top of this letter G, when we do a backplot, or when you actually go to run this on the machine, um, we have a particular problem here. You could see what happens is it kind of skips over this area and then puts the tool and kind of cuts inside of the font. Let's go ahead and look at how to fix this. Now this font's already been exploded and the problem's not showing. It's just a, probably a little issue with the line right in here. Now an easy way of fixing this, if you have multiple layers you may have to go through and just clean up the ones that need the fixing. But what we'll do is we'll come over here and we're going to go to Other. I'm going to use equalize. What this is going to do is it's going to take the line segments and create equal length segments. In this case, I'm going to say to go 0 .001 for the accuracy or the maximum length of division. And I'll apply that to this outside shape where I had the problem. Choose OK. Now we'll come over and reselect our geometry to be cut. And remove the geometry, reselect it. We'll compute our toolpath again. I'll go ahead and post the code and we'll check it. Go to edit. We can see we probably have a few more lines of code in here, but when I run my back plot now, I still have the issue here. So that's one way of fixing it, which did not fix it at this point. Let's go ahead and close this. Now what we'll do is we're going to come here to arcs. I'm going to use fit arcs. I'm going to use an accuracy again of 0 .001. One. We'll select our shape then choose OK. You can see it changes the shape very slightly. But what this is doing is this should uh, change the accuracy a little bit of these corners and the shape. And then clean it up enough so that when we post code, we should have uh, eliminated the problem. That we've posted. We'll go ahead and launch the editor again. We'll right click get a back plot and we'll check and see how our shapes gonna be cut now we can see that there's no longer a deviation of the profile now certain fonts are not made that well or it really depends if you have so what looks like a choppy font like this you may have some issues cutting it um, the easiest ways to fix it is to use explode to take away the font effect and then you can come in and you can use both the equalize function which will break this into equal divisions as well as you could also come to arcs and use the fit arcs function to go ahead and change the tolerance of the part and create a good shape. Let's go ahead and look at that again. I'm going to hit undo a couple of times. Redo after the explode. Now with the problem that we have here we're going to deviate the shape. I'll compute. Post the code again. Launch the editor. going to run a back plot and we should see the problem that's evident in the font where it deviates the shape. This is just an inaccuracy of the lines. It's uh, I actually measured it's a few tenths out um, between the star and stop points. Now to correct this I'm going to go to other equalize. We'll equalize the shape and create equal segments. Then we'll come here to arc, fit arcs, and I'll change the shape slightly by fitting arcs to the shape we could then select our geometry again compute the toolpath and then post the code now if you're making a sign or something that has many letters in it um, you'll just want to go through and fix the letters that need fixing uh, it should, shouldn't take more than a few moments to go through find where the issues are and then clean it up so that you have good cuts and shapes and that's going to conclude this video